Today, I've prepared a guide video on how to rebuild the Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. While it predates Skyrim, let's refrain from any undue criticism. The reason behind creating this video is twofold. Firstly, knowledge about Oblivion modding is gradually fading, so this video aims to pass on that knowledge to the present and future generations. Secondly, it's to offer fellow Elder Scrolls enthusiasts a richer experience in Cyrodiil. And of course, expect some Bethesda bugs along the way. I'll be introducing even more mods than in our previous Must Have Mods series, so things may move quickly, but I hope you'll keep up. Wishing you success, let's dive right in. The first thing you need is Mod Organizer 2. I will unconditionally use the installation method based on Mod Organizer 2. You can download Mod Organizer 2 or add Oblivion through the player instance manager that already has Mod Organizer. The installation method is almost the same as installing existing Skyrim mods, but please keep in mind that the OBSE plugin must be installed in the game data folder where Oblivion is installed. Then, click Settings, set the exact path as shown in the video, and remember the path so you know where the file is installed. Next is Oblivion Script Extender, OBSE. OBSE can be understood as the Oblivion version of Skyrim's SKSE. The latest version is version 0021. Download and unzip it to the folder where Oblivion is installed. Don't forget to register OBSE through the Mod Organizer. The registration method is the same as registering Skyrim SKSE in the Mod Organizer. Now, let me guide you on how to rebuild the interface. The method I highly recommend involves using Northern UI, Loot Menu, and Coffee UI. Morning. Northern UI transforms the default interface of Oblivion into a style reminiscent of Skyrim and Sky UI. Not only does this mod alter the interface, but it also enables playing Oblivion with a gamepad and allows for adjustments to camera settings. With the ability to rotate and move freely in 360 degrees, Northern UI significantly enhances the Oblivion experience. Additionally, Loot Menu provides real-time item information from containers, making it the preferred method for item acquisition. By adding Coffee UI, you can further refine the interface, including Northern UI Rumble, which introduces controller vibrations, completes the foundation for a perfect rebuild. To use Loot Menu, make sure to download Link and Menu Q, both of which are listed in the description, and install them in order. Next up is the OBSE plugin. I'll be introducing mods that are exclusively composed of OBSE plugins without any ESPs. Please make sure to install these mods directly into the data folder where Oblivion is installed, rather than using Mod Organizer. First, let's talk about Walk Blessed. This mod functions similarly to Skyrim's true directional movement. It supports character movement in 360 degrees, whether you have a weapon drawn or are unarmed. Additionally, you can switch to shoulder view camera through INI settings, making it a versatile and useful camera mod. However, it has a slight conflict with the previously mentioned Northern UI. If you're using a keyboard, open Northern UI in I inside the OBSE plugins folder and disable pad usage. On the other hand, if you're using a gamepad, make sure not to download the latest version. Instead, opt for version 15.4. Next up is Engine Bug Fixes. This plugin is crucial for addressing various engine-related bugs, making it a necessary installation. It systematically tackles a substantial number of engine-related issues, ultimately enhancing the stability of Oblivion. Additionally, there's Oblivion Display Tweaks. This mod addresses micro-stuttering, high frame rate issues, true FOV adjustment, alt-tab stability in full-screen mode, and enables functionality in borderless windowed mode. By implementing this, you can ensure seamless execution of borderless windowed mode, 
reinforcing the Get Tick Count feature. In this time, we'll be focusing on visuals. As some of you may have anticipated, the first thing I'll introduce is, of course, ENB. Oblivion also supports ENB, and I personally use Liger ENB. While I find the color scheme of Liger ENB excellent, there was an issue with flickering shadows depending on the angle. Therefore, I disabled Enabled Shadow Blurring and Enable Detail Shadow. If you like the color scheme in the video, I highly recommend giving it a try. Next up is All Natural. It implements various weather types from all existing weather mods to provide the best possible weather experience. It supports a wide range of weather types, interior lighting, and the real light feature. Keep in mind, when I was heavily playing Oblivion, this weather mod was an absolute must-have. Then there's Grass Overhaul. It replaces the in-game grass with higher quality models and matches ground textures and LOD terrain textures to the colors provided by the new grass texture. It complements Leaguer ENB, enhancing the richness of Cyrodiil. Next is Real Lava. It upgrades the quality of lava in Cyrodiil or the Oblivion world. Moving on to lush and gaudy water, it alters the water in Cyrodiil to give it a clearer, more tropical feel. Viewer preferences may vary, so the choice is ultimately up to you. Decide based on your personal taste. Lastly, Carl's Texture Pack 3. Considered a near-complete visual overhaul, this mod elevates most of the game's textures to high quality. If you experience memory issues leading to frequent crashes, you may What's opt for you? Carl's Texture Bye. Pack 3 Redimized. Given that Oblivion okay. isn't optimized for the latest hardware, using larger textures may not always be advisable. So this option is worth considering as well. In this segment, we'll delve into gameplay. There are several crucial mods to pay attention to, so please focus. First, let's talk about Deadly Reflex 5. Deadly Reflex 5 introduces new combat techniques for both players and NPCs, adding a new dimension of strategy and intense action to Oblivion's combat. For example, you can dismember enemies, such as chopping off their wrists or slicing through their torso. During combat, both players and enemies can perform bash attacks against their opponents, and sometimes send them flying with a well-placed kick, allowing for the opportunity to plunge a blade into a grounded foe. This excellent mod includes various features, such as the ability to swiftly dispatch enemies while in stealth, or quietly dispatch a foe. Next up is Stagger, Recoil, and Hit Stop. This mod adds Stagger, Recoil, and Hit Stop functionalities to humanoid actors in Cyrodiil. If you prefer a more Souls-like combat experience, this mod is worth paying attention to. It triggers staggers unconditionally, allowing for a more strategic approach to combat. With the Hit Stop feature, you can further enhance the sense of impact. And by introducing recoil, you can make the battles even more intense and dynamic. Next is L's Improved UE. This mod introduces various features, including a kill cam. It adds a range of sound effects for discovering new locations and even includes sounds for jumping. The addition of diverse sounds, including the kill cam, will make the game even more thrilling and engaging. Additionally, using L's, more voice is also recommended. My this mod allows your character to speak in various situations. I get it. When your character casts Meet spells, jumps, gets hurt, attacks, recoils, or performs other actions, they will sing, groan, express approval, or say something. This strong, adds depth and smart. realism to your character's you interactions. Strong, at least be smart. Furthermore, using See You Sleep allows you to see your character actually day, lying down or dream. getting up from bed along with corresponding voice lines. With the Scouter mod, you can monitor the health, magicka, stamina, and level of all actors in real time. 
Next up is No Leveled and Balanced Oblivion. This mod changes all actors in Cyrodiil to be non-leveled. Rather than scaling with the player, the levels of all NPCs and creatures are fixed. Basic healing spells are also removed, and various aspects of balance, such as camera and character movement speed, are altered. Furthermore, the loot items and reward system have been changed. This means that you'll need to open the boss or final treasure chest in each dungeon to find satisfying treasures. In addition, creatures are completely overhauled, with many high-quality creatures being added. This mod aims to change the game's environment while preserving stability as much as possible. Be aware that the added creatures and the altered bandits are significantly leveled up, which will increase the game's difficulty. This is a corner where you can upgrade characters and NPCs. First, I will introduce Oblivion Character Overhaul, which is a mode that completely improves Oblivion's character head. New head shapes, skin textures, normal maps, eye textures, and new hairstyles for all races, including the Dramora and Shivering Isles races. It gives Oblivion's characters a more vibrant, modern feel, and can be used with a variety of additional mods to create even more compelling characters. Next is Yappa Race. This race mod adds a female race called Yappa. The quality is quite high, so I am using it as my character. If you like it, please try it. Lastly, we have Sounds of Cyrodiil. Sounds of Cyrodiil meticulously places over 5,400 sound emitters in the game world, playing more than 200 sound effects from these points. This means that no environment or cell is devoid of sound. Depending on the time of day, you'll experience different atmospheres. During the day, you might hear echoes of people shouting in the streets, the sounds of doors opening and closing, and carpenters sawing away. At night, you'll encounter cats engaging in territorial fights, dogs barking, and inebriated individuals raising their voices. In dungeons, you'll hear different sounds based on the types of enemies residing there. In a dungeon teeming with the undead, you'll hear zombies groaning and souls screaming, while in a Daedric shrine, the voice of a demon echoes in the vicinity. Since most sound effects have random delays and directions, you won't be able to predict when or where the next sound will come from. This helps maintain tension in dungeons and prevents monotony in cities and taverns, enhancing your immersion in your journey. With that, we conclude the Oblivion Rebuild Guide. While there are many more mods to introduce, I've compressed and presented the essential ones for you, totaling around 30. Oblivion may be the oldest game in the Bethesda series, but conversely, it's also the game with the most extensive modding community. Therefore, depending on how you choose to mod, there's plenty of room for you to create your unique version of Oblivion. If you found this video helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Additionally, any support on Patreon would significantly contribute to my video production. Until the next video, I bid you farewell and wish you a delightful journey in Cyrodiil.